It's a million acres at the top of the lower 48, with strings of majestic peaks, valleys carved by prehistoric rivers of ice, and jeweled lakes that reflect mountains and sky. No wonder they call it the crown of the continent. You have entered Glacier National Park, home to towering forests, alpine tundra, and tender flowered grasslands. To fully experience all Glacier offers, you have the privilege of visiting its magnificent backcountry. Exploring this remarkable yet challenging terrain requires knowledge of backcountry safety, planning for unexpected events, and being fully aware of the inherent risks of backcountry travel. Although there are no guarantees for your safety, you can make your trip safer and more enjoyable by being prepared. Welcome to Glacier National Park. Please enjoy our wild animals, but at a safe distance. Glacier National Park is one of the few remaining areas that provides security and habitat for grizzly bears. Both grizzly and black bears are crucial components of Glacier. Their roles as both predator and scavenger help to maintain the balance needed for a healthy ecosystem. Although bears are often entertaining to watch and look like fun-loving creatures, they can be dangerous. Most backcountry travelers never see these animals, yet people have been killed and injured by bears within the park. The best way to protect yourself is to avoid surprising bears, but if you do, have a plan for how to react. <laughs> To avoid surprising bears, make your presence known. Make noise by talking loudly, clapping hands, or singing. Solo hiking is not recommended. Hiking with others will increase the noise you make, allowing bears to know your location. Hike during the day instead of in the early morning or at night. Trails marked with bear frequenting signs should be used with extra caution. Watch for bear scat, tracks, diggings, or overturned rocks or logs. All may indicate that bears are in the area. Keep your distance from bear feeding areas like ripe berry patches or carcasses. Keep off trails and out of areas closed to hikers. Besides trying not to surprise bears, your party should do its best to avoid attracting them. Scented products such as soap, deodorant, and lotion contain odors that may attract bears. A more powerful attractant, however, is the smell of food. It is extremely important to hang all food, garbage, cooking gear, food scented clothes, and toiletries when you arrive at your campsite. Carry at least 25 feet of rope in order to hang items 10 feet above the ground and 4 feet from the nearest tree. Never leave packs containing food or garbage unattended at any time in camp or on the trail. Food should always be prepared in the campground's designated food preparation area and hung in its designated storage area. Practicing these techniques to avoid surprising and attracting bears will greatly reduce your chances of seeing these animals at close range. However, there is still a chance that your party may encounter a bear. If this happens, you must know how to react. There are several things you need to take into consideration if you encounter a bear. Is the bear near food? Is it a mother bear with cubs? How far away is the bear from where you are? These factors will aid you in determining how to act. Remember, bear behavior cannot always be predicted. A bear's reaction often depends on your reaction. Here are some things to keep in mind. If the bear is at a distance, do not approach. Wait for the bear to move on, detour around it, or turn around and leave. If you find yourself surprising a bear and are in close range, avoid eye contact. Stay calm and talk softly while slowly backing away. Never run. Running may indicate that you are prey for the bear to chase. Since bears have been clocked at 35 miles per hour, you will not outrun it. Even if you follow these steps, you may still aggravate the bear, especially if it's feeding or is a mother with young. Signs of agitation include swaying or lowered head, huffing, woofing, clacking teeth, laid back ears, and raised hair on shoulders. Agitated bears may charge. Most bear charges are bluff charges. That is, the bear charges and either stops or veers off before it reaches you. If the bear charges, stand your ground. Drop a non-food object to distract the bear and use pepper spray if you're carrying it. Keep your pack on for protection in case of an attack. If the charge continues and you think the bear is going to contact you, drop to the ground. 
Lay flat on your stomach or in the fetal position, protecting your neck and head with your arms. If the bear tries to turn you over, roll with the motion and back onto your stomach. Be still and stay silent to convince the bear you are not a threat. Keep still until you are sure the bear has left the area. Otherwise, you may provoke the bear to attack again. In extremely rare situations, bears may view humans as prey and stalk them. If you feel a bear has been following you and it begins to show signs of aggression, climb a tree if available. If you cannot climb to safety and the bear attacks, fight back with tree branches, rocks, knives, or any other resource you can find to indicate you are not easy prey. Remember, most bear encounters can be avoided if your party makes noise to avoid surprising bears, keeps odors to a minimum, and hangs food, garbage, and scented products in the food storage area whenever not in use. Glacier is also home to many other types of wildlife. Mountain lions also roam Glacier's backcountry. Although these large cats are generally shy animals, you may come in contact with one. If so, make yourself look as large as possible and back away slowly while speaking in a firm tone. Keep small children and adults protected within your group. Hike with others. Never run or turn your back on a mountain lion. These steps will decrease the chance of a mountain lion mistaking you or others in your group for prey. If, however, you are attacked, act aggressively. Throw sticks, stones, or other resources to fend it off. As in the case of predatory bear attacks, fight back. Report any bear or lion sightings, encounters, or incidents to a ranger as soon as possible. When you venture into the backcountry, it's likely you will see other species of wildlife such as mountain goats, elk, moose, and bighorn sheep. It's important to recognize that although these animals are not predators, they can be dangerous. Their actions cannot be predicted. To avoid contact, enjoy all animals from a distance. Never intentionally approach or harass wildlife and do not feed any wild animal.